Happy Monday. All right, if you've already done your happy dance, I hope you've taken some time to chill out, have a week off, enjoy spending some time with your staff together and just giving yourself a break because do you know what you just did? You just wrote a book. I think that's a week off. Now, weeks off doesn't mean the year's done. We still have some more things that we want to work through as we finish up the year. So as you come back into the game of getting things done, I would like to start with a little something I like to call yearbook math. Now, I'm not very good at math, but what I am good at knowing is if I have 50 yearbooks left and I have to divide that between the 350 non-buyers that I have left, odds aren't good that you're going to get a copy of that book if you don't over one soon. Now, as a part of your yearbook math, we wanted to give you a countdown. So we've done that for you. You can find those in the resources folder. They look something like this. Please feel free to make your own or use ours, whichever is easier for you. Print them out, post them around the school, uh, use them on social media, send them out in an email to get the word out. Let's talk about a cover reveal. Some of you love to do a cover reveal and some of you love to keep that cover a secret until the very last minute and you do you. Whatever works for you in your school is okay, but if you're on the fence, I would strongly suggest you consider revealing your cover and maybe finding a fun way to do it. We've created some social media posts for you and they are again in the resources folder and they look a little something like this. I think they're pretty cute. Um, and I would suggest that you find a way to get this out to your student body. Most people don't wanna purchase something if they're not sure about it. They don't know what it looks like and they don't know what's in it. Let's let them know. Let them judge your book by its cover because they're good. Um, I want to share with you a post from Bear Grass Charter School. Um, she did this amazing thing where she revealed a portion of her cover. So she didn't give the whole thing away, but she's provided enough information for people to get excited about what's to come. And they should be excited because it's a beautiful book. And so this is your Instagram feed. And each one of those is a different post. So show me how that works. Um, I don't remember how we did it. So click on one of them to open it. So here is one post and you posted them in the right order so, so that, that they align so that they align so this is how you revealed your cover to the student body yes so how did you decide when to post another one um we posted them within the same class period but we did like a countdown to when we were going to reveal our cover on instagram so a little along you would add another post and with nothing between them then as a whole they created your cover Yes. That's genius. What's the hardest part? Getting them to align together. Okay, so you got to practice that, huh? Yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> so, so you get a tile pick. Okay. And then, yes, create tiles. And then if you want to do all nine, you'll just... So then it downloads it as each individual. And then you upload it backwards. Upload it backwards. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, speaking of the inside of the book being so beautiful, maybe we show them a little bit of that too. Now we don't want to give away the entire book. We don't want to tell the whole story, but maybe a little preview. How can we do that? Maybe consider printing off some of your pages, cutting out portions of them to share around on posters on campus on social media. Uh, maybe consider the your in the book flyers. I will post a link in the description box below and put it in your tip of the week as well for how you can print those out. Um, this works great if you have been tagging to run an index or to keep track of your coverage. Um, anything you can do to let people know you're in the book, you're gonna love the book, it's a good book, and um, your book math, you don't wanna miss out on the book. Last week, we sent out some really great assignments that you can be doing with your staff as you move through the remaining of the year. I hope that you've had a chance to kind of look through those and see what might work for you and what might not. We have more coming in the coming weeks, so keep your eyes open. 
um, yeah, so I hope you have a great week. I hope you've enjoyed your happy dance and your little bit of downtime and that you're ready to get selling these remaining copies because yay, these books are good and these people deserve to see how much work you put into it.